Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can generate a PDF document based on a form response. Basically each time uh, a form is submitted, we want to generate a form response, save it to Google Drive, Dropbox, or upload it to Salesforce, or as simple as uh, sending it as a confirmation to the person who submitted it. So let's get it started. For this demo, I'm using one of the out-of-the-box uh, Google Form template called Order Forms. I haven't made any changes here. I'm just gonna um, go and make sure the setting to collect email address is on, uh, verified um, and restrict. Uh, this, this option should be off. That's all I need from here. If you have a look at the form, yep, that's a form. So let's head back to Zenfi. With Zenfi, what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a new flow, which is starts from a Google form submission. So every any time, as soon as a form is submitted, this flow starts. Um, let's give it a name. Now let's just start configuring the flow. So first thing, I wanna configure the trigger. Let's select the form. Got the form, Google Form Sponsor PDF here. This is a form, I select the form. And if you notice, as soon as I select the form, all the form fields will be available uh, for me here. So I've, now I've got access to all of them. Now I'm going to press save. The next step is um, to drag and drop um, from the Google Docs section, drag and drop, generate document using template. So, so the idea is that we want to um, use Google Docs. As our template to generate a document for this form response. If I show you, I've already created a template Google Doc um, for the form response. So you can format it and design it however suits uh, your um, your situation the best. It doesn't have to look exactly like the form, but it's totally up to you. And you can also pull in data from multiple sources. It doesn't have to be just from the forms. So once you design your document, you go and put it, these tokens in there. This is what we call tokens. These are the values we want to be sub, uh, we want to be replaced. For example, um, token called existing customer. That's what I put in there for uh, this answer. And I've already put the question there as well. So all the tokens are there. As I mentioned, you can highlight this. Um, uh, you can, uh, sorry, a stylist, however, suits your uh, situation the best. Now let's go and start configuring the action. Um, I'm going to say select a connection, let's select the file. This is a template. And if you look at it, as soon as I select a template, it automatically extracts all those tokens uh, for me to configure. But before configuring the token, I want to go and say, you know, when you generate it, go and put it in this folder. I already created a folder called um, Generated Documents. If I go here, I want to put them in this folder. And uh, for the document name, I'm going to use, for example, the value they put in the name. So that, uh, for name, yeah, that's it. And also want to export it to PDF. So that's pretty much it. So it's going to use all those responses and generate a PDF document for us. Now let's just start configuring it. Now um, I want to know when uh, this uh, form was submitted. Uh, so I put it up here, submitted on. So the value, I've got two options. I can get the value from the trigger itself. It says create a time. It's a date time it's created. I can put it there. This one, however, is not going to be in a um, nicely human readable format. So what we do, we can do, if uh, is to use um, format uh, date time um, format date time action we here we say go and get the created time and format it to um, basically this is format I want um, month day and year basically it's going to look like June 01 2011 something like that Format date time, and if I go down here, I say submitted on value is the result of that action. All right, submitted by, 
who is the actual person who submitted it um, I'm gonna go and get the initiator email put it there and we'll configure the rest of the actions um, as well are you an existing customer put it there I quickly configure the rest of the actions Okay, that's pretty much it. Now, let's uh, do a test run. I'm going to save it. I'm going to publish the flow. Complete registration. Let's head back to the form and submit a new one. So, yep, register as this one. I'm a new customer. Um, blue jeans, color one and two, production. Um, Slim, slim fit, please. Contact it, info, all three. Just put a phone number and then uh, put the uh, copy paste the email address from here. I'm happy for you to contact me via phone and email. Uh, would appreciate turn around time. Fix this. Turn around time. We'll press submit. Okay, let's go back to Zenfi. Um, Let's publish, go back right here. You should see a new instance of the flow started. And you should see the log progress of the flow. It's generating the document. Uh, it has generated the document and saved the document. So if I go back here and here, I should see the, the document and the PDF file because it converted it to PDF as well. And as you can see, it has. Um, it has put all the information we have requested in here. So I want to highlight the, the submitted on. This is the date form, formatted date that we created, and the rest of the information coming in. However, you would notice that these this value and this value are coming in a, bit, in a strange way. So and there's a reason for it. For um for the items which um, Google Form allows you to have multiple selections. Um, they come in as what we call a collection. So if you want to flatten them out, you can use, it's quite easy to do with Zenfi, so they don't show up like that. You can um, use an action called um, convert to text, I believe. Convert to text. So this one gets a list of items, could be zero, could be um, a number of items and convert them to a um, joins them together as a, a string value um, text value. So here we're going to go and say there were two things. One was a color, and it asking you how do you want to separate them. I say comma space separate them with comma and space. Um, exclude empty values and remove duplicate. I don't think there's going to be duplicate. I'm, I just could uh, call this colors and I'm gonna copy paste the action. And for this one, I'm going to use the prepared contact methods. Um, come out here. Give me a contact methods. Well, and I'm going to do the same thing. You can put any character you want. You can put new line, pipe, or anything that works for you. And one last thing to do here go back here, down here, um, color. And I said, Go and use the output of the, this method and for prepared contact method, delete that and use the output of this method. I'm going to save this. Let me go and clean up the, um, the, file, the files here. Delete. This time I'm going to do a test run. I'm going to submit it. Say, uh, go through some form submission again. Go and I'm 
here go and um, saying that get the values for the previous form submission and run a test um, to just um, do a test run for the flow. I can see the live progress here. Okay, it's all done. If I go back here, I'm waiting for the um, refresh it. PDF document showing up as well. And as you can see, you know, color one, comma, space, color two. Same here, phone, comma, space, email. So as easy as that, you can generate the document. So now let's let's take this a few steps further. Uh, first thing we say, um, you know, you see how we create this document here as well. Over the time, you may not want to keep them. You know, um, it may, uh, you know, make um, may clutter your Google Drive if you don't need the Google Docs or it was like we're using as a transient thing. We can go and clean it up from here. Just down here, I can go and say uh, delete um, item. I can configure it. Say, you know what, go and delete from the previous action. Get the file ID and just delete it. Don't delete the PDF file, just delete the, um, delete the generated Google Doc. So that one does that. Also, you can do a lot more. I mean, um, if you want to send the, the generated document as an email attachment as well, you just do send email. And you can configure the email, and down here you can choose the PDF file, uh, which is the output we'll show you here. Generate document PDF file. You can use it and attach it there, and um, and and send it as, as an email. Or uh, let's say you wanted to create a folder in Google Drive for the day of the. Um, uh, day of the month in which the form got submitted and store all the all the form responses for that day in that folder. As I said, quite easy. Um, you can do add a create folder. Create folder. Let's say create folder for the day. So here. Uh, for the name, I'm going to use actually the uh, the result of the formatted result, which gives me the day, and say so what's the parent folder. In parent folder, I'm going to use the same Google Form response to PDF. No, actually, use, that was not the parent folder. Generated document, so I want to put it in there, and only create it, uh, create it if it doesn't exist. One last thing I need to do here: go down here. And say, uh, where do you want to store it? Destination folder ID. Now, this value will dynamically come from the output of this action. Put it there, save. Um, if I do another test run using previous action, um, test run, okay, let's go back here. I'm going to delete these two files. I mean, it doesn't really matter because it's going to create a folder as you can see. He generated a created a new folder and it's going to store the files here. Yep, the file is showing up here. So, just like that, you can take it really further. But what, one last thing I want to show you, which is, um, I believe, really helpful, is imagine if you let them attach um, attach files to, to the form as well, like your, your users attach files to the forms as well, and then um, you want to merge those the attachment as well as the document in one file and send it as um and a store or send it as one document so if i could just come down here and i say um purchase order for example purchase order i say it's a file upload continue here i'm going to only say allow PDF document. So the idea is that I want to generate a document and merge that document PDF document with the attached PDF documents. Could be one or many. I could say five and um, generate one one document at the end and I store that document in Google Drive. 
So let's go. So I've added that field. Let's go back here. What I want to do, I want to come here and say load form control. So the new control will appear. Uh, purchase order is there. So one last thing I would need to do here is um, to say we've got an action called merge documents. That's a PDF action. So if I open up the action, so which documents you want to merge? I say first go and get me the PDF file that you created here, and then uh, from the trigger actually get me the um, purchase order, expand that, and give me the payloads here. I don't want to password protect it, and for the file name I want to use merged. Just say name. Yeah. Um, as I said, no need to password protect him. And um, once we've done it, I want to um, save file. I want to save the output to the same Google Drive. I'll upload is the merge document. Destination folder is um, this folder. Okay, I'm gonna save and run it now. I need to uh, actually I'm gonna have to publish it. I need to delete the the PDF file as well because we won't need it anymore. It will be as part of the merge document. But let's uh, let me make sure this is the right one. Yeah, this I'm an existing customer. Um, let me say again, blue jeans, color two and three, go back to option, stamp it. And copy uh, paste. Address, phone, email, thanks, and let me attach a file. Browse for files, select that, attach it. I just selected a random PDF file and press submit. This is really exciting because this at least saves you a, lot, a ton of time and effort, you know, man, especially boring time, boring task. So if I go here, we should see a new instance of the flow running. Yes, yes, we do. So it's generating the document. Going to refresh. Um, it's generated document. And it's up to merging those documents. Merge the document, save the file up there, and um, uh, uh, clean up the file. So if I go to the merge document. You can see this is a document that uh, we generated from the form data, and this is the attachment I added. And just like that, can save yourself a lot of time, and also if there were multiple attachments, you could do the same uh, as well. But hopefully you find this useful, and please let us know if you've got any suggestions or comments. Thank you very much.